Well, this has been a mod through hell. <laughs> um, I ended up removing the forks. I found a problem with the uh, with the forks, as you can see. Right here, um, there's a piece missing for the um, the brake, the front brake hangs, so it doesn't spin free. And uh, I found the hard way that it spins free. <laughs> so they had to go. They're pretty cheap anyway. All one piece. Problem is, my old pair were longer, and uh, you really can't cut them because they're um, threaded on the top. Um, I figured if I can get this to fit, I could just replace the bottom end down the road because at least I have a crown to work with. It's not all one piece, right? Um, so, what I ended up doing is uh, to make up for the extra length, is I uh, I put an extra cup on the on the on the um, on the bearings, and then I cut a um, a spring like that, and I uh, put it in there. And I made sure it was on the top of the threads. And as you were tightening, the spring would tighten in, tightens on the cones, and uh, it doesn't even jiggle. It's nice and smooth. And uh, I'm not too worried about it uh, going all over the place because it's it's already bottomed out here. So anything that pushes, any bumps or whatever, won't be uh, sending this shock flying all over the place. It's a pretty good setup, actually. And I managed to mod the top. Um, I had to drill two holes in the bars to get these to fit because they have little notches to keep them from spinning free. I had to cut the bars off, grind it. So I had something to um, mount the handlebar stem too. They're going to go down a little bit more and then I'll cut it again and grind it off. It's just, just to uh, get it to fit. But uh, I got, hey, I want the bars to fit. They fit. Uh, the rear end has been jacked up. Um, it was pretty low. I got really high actually. Um, I had to make an adapter to extend the, um, the shocks. The, uh, this thing was so low to the ground when you dropped it off the center stand, it was like half an inch off the ground. It's pretty bad. So it's, uh, it's gonna be a fun little scooty. And the, uh, be sure about that though. For the uh, control hanger, I didn't bother painting it. What I did is I used um, heat shrink tubing, and I just basically heat shrinked it. I mean, if you paint it, it's just gonna rust again anyway. This way, it's uh, if it does touch the frame, it doesn't uh, scratch it up. So it's, uh, it's a bonus there. That's about as far as I got today. Get rid of, uh, I guess I'm not going to be using this. It's the original one. Didn't really work anyway. <laughs> Big difference. I'll be using. I'll put the light back on it. Won't look too bad. Not sure about the fender yet. And I'm not too sure about the footrest. I think I'm going to end up cutting it here on both sides, losing all this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a bar from here up to here. And the uh, same as on the other side. And I'm going to box this in with plexiglass, and this will hold the uh, headway batteries. So that'll look pretty cool. And then you can just uh, BMS and everything will be all sealed in there. Uh, for riding, I guess I would just basically put my feet on the pedals and go. It's getting there. You can see how much the back's really jacked up. It's pretty cool.